Hello everyone, it's Allie from Titan and welcome back to our channel. I am here with our second personal break today and do have a Pokemon Sword and Shield Fusion Strike booster box to check on out for Leland L from South Dakota. So thank you so much Leland for letting me open up some Pokemon for you here on the channel. I hope to find you some awesome cards to add to your collection. Now we have seen an alternate art Mew, an alternate art Mew VMAX, an alternate art Gengar VMAX, but we haven't seen any of those here on the channel in a while. So... Hoping to find any of those here for Leland today, because those cards, especially the Muse, are super cute. Also, I think not too long ago we did see an alternate art Celebi. That was super cute. We'll love to just get some alternate art full arts here in this box. But I am excited. You know, we've actually been able to have a decent amount of Fusion Strike in stock. Gives me hope for upcoming Brilliant Stars, because I want to check out actually a good amount of that product myself. I'm very excited for the new Arceus V-Star, which, from what I'm hearing, is about the same pull rarity as a VMAX. So one or two of those V-Stars per box. There's, of course, a new Charizard as well. I know people are excited always about Charizard. So excited for Brilliant Stars and hope to have a good amount of that product here to share with you all when that releases as well. But let's go ahead and jump on into this box here, Fusion Strike, by snapping us into the corner. One thing I noticed about this box, you know, we'd been saved from it for a little while, uh, but it seems like we're back to the shrink wrap being a bit dusty, so hopefully I don't make too much of a mess on my super pretty uh, chromatic lantern playmat. Which reminds me, actually, did get a message I have to answer on the website asking about this playmat. Uh, if you guys ever have questions about certain things that I'm using in videos, always feel free to send a message and I'll get back to you all as soon as I can. If I don't answer, please just send again. Sometimes stuff gets buried. Oh, this box got a little bit beat up there. Hopefully everything inside is all right. And all right, let's pop this top here and get started for Leland. Let's see what we can find. Hopefully some alternate arts, hopefully some full arts, maybe a rainbow rare, maybe a secret gold secret. Let's go ahead and see. And just for my personal reference, gotta make sure that we keep the codes down because they don't belong to me, don't belong to boss man, don't belong to you guys, they belong to Leland. So I need to make sure that I don't spoil those. All right, starting off with a Breloom V here, pack one, Breloom V. We have our energy. Uh, three Pokemon for our uncommons. I do always feel the need to separate out trainers and Pokemon for uncommons. Just a force of habit left over from when we used to be able to open up cases of Pokemon for singles in store. That's how I would have the quote unquote bulk box sorted. We'd have commons and then uncommons we'd split up into trainers, items, etc. We do have Dragapult Hollow here, our first Hollow Rare. I remember we used, back in the day, we opened up, I think, like two cases of Ultra Prism. Can you imagine we just had still Ultra Prism? I can't believe how these sets that, like, aren't even that old. They're so expensive. Remember, even Crimson Invasion now is expensive. We, we had to clearance out Elite Trainer boxes at less than cost because the set was garbage. The only thing worth anything was the, uh, Sylvalian type null stuff. It was it's crazy now. Pokemon's crazy, but you know what? I'm glad that it's popular because I still like Pokemon. I want Pokemon to keep making cards for a long time. I want Pokemon to keep making plushies because I keep buying them. So as long as Pokemon's still doing well, that's a win in my book. Even though it is, it is still difficult to find collectibles. Ooh, Chandler VMAX. I actually got one of these for me at a card show. So I just... I was like, oh, I really like Chandelier. Let me buy some Chandelier cards. I got a full art Chandelier V and the VMAX. So, that's cool. I like that pull. Not sure if Leland is a Chandelier fan as well. I just like that whole line. Litwick is a candle. Lampent is a lamp. Chandelier is a chandelier. That's some, that's some good content. All right, excited to see what else we find. Like I said, hoping to find some alt art. Oh, another black code. And I know last time we opened up some Pokemon here, we actually opened up a couple build and battle kits. We have Grimmsnarl, Hollow. I did check in the shop. It looks like actually they've been selling recently. We didn't have any more. There's like two single kits. There wasn't like any sealed display, so I, I wasn't able to restock those on the site. Uh, but hopefully we do have one Brilliant Stars, be able to have those on the, the website as well. Because that's like a good little just like bite size. We don't put, unless it's a specialty product, we don't put Elite Training Boxes on the site because it does cost a lot to ship the box and everything inside. 
So, because of course, everything on the site, the shipping is like built into the cost. We try to be as close to market as possible, but sometimes shipping is expensive. So that's why for like regularly trainer boxes, it's not worth it and no one would buy it at what we'd have to put it up at. Cause like you could just go buy an elite training box off like Amazon. They'll ship it to your house for free. Amazon doesn't care, but post office keeps raising rates. I will say they did, post office did say that they would go back down after the holidays. And they did for like two weeks and then they're like new announcement for a rate raise and it's like yeah cool and it went up to more that it was that they initially raised it for like the october through december rates but it, it did go back they did do what they said but i also like i expected that it was just going to be permanent except it was even higher so the post office just keeps going up like no please please stop Do have quick balls and palo sand, which is a pile of sand. Snom counts, Klafki reverse, and Raquanid. Tromish and Zara Aura for a rare. Lots of white codes in a row here. To be fair, we did start off with a few black codes in a row. Draclok reverse and Huntail. black code we have geodude reverse and crabominable v we have two v's two hollows one v max so far more pico reverse and toxtricity hollow rare Santa Scorch, Reverse, and Corviknight, Rare. All right, just a couple more packs here on the right side, and then we'll be halfway through. Shelda Reverse, and Eveltal, Rare. I would almost expect that Eveltal to be a Hollow Rare, or just a regular Rare. Interesting seeing regular rare legendaries. Or Corio reverse and Electros. Bug catcher. And black coat to end off the right half of the box. Let's see, what are we gonna find here? We have Trubbish reverse and Greedent V. Our third V of the box. Well, let's do a little mid-box check-in here. Tidy up the piles a little bit as well. Do have three hollows, three Vs, and one V Max. All right, on to the left side. Starting off with a black code. We have Meltan Reverse and Steelix Hollow. Zarud and Toxtricity Hollow. 
Same toxtricity, even though I do believe there are actually two different hollow rare toxtricities in this set. I have noticed with Fusion Strike, we tend to be finding at least one duplicate of a hollow in the box. I feel like I didn't see that in this. Wait. <laughs> Wait. Why are these packs upside down? This is so weird. What does it mean? What does it mean? It means nothing, but. I want to check out the chunk of uh, upside down packs. Sometimes weird things happen. But that's cool. Not sure why they're upside down, but we'll see if it means anything. Starting off with a white coat. Mankey Reverse. That's a really cute Mankey art, actually. Azumarill. Rare. Black Coat. Upside down. Excadrill. And Dragapult. Hollow. Zoroark and Cinderace V. Was the Dragapult a repeat? It was as well. Like I said, seeing some duplicates here on the Hollows with Fusion Strike. I feel like we've seen that with some other recent Sword and Shield releases too. Maybe not as in free not as frequently, but I think we did see it with Chilling Rain as well. Definitely a pattern though with Fusion Strike booster boxes. Not sure if there's any hollow in particular that is more playable and more collectible than some of the others. So like hope for that one to be a particular duplicate, but. Black coat. Na 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 black coat. Uh, Metapod and Rillaboom V. All right, and that finishes our stretch of upside down packs here with this one on the left side. Rest of the packs are going to be right side up unless there's any sneaky ones. Gliger and Absol. Ooh, Gliger. Ooh, I'm putting our commons in the reverse pile. What am I doing? All right, Gligar, go back in your pile. And now Absol. Cross Switcher and Gorbis. Gumi and Absol Rare. All right, black code here in this Gengar pack art. Another regular V. We have Lucario V. All of our Vs have been different, but interesting that we're seeing so many regular Vs here in this box. Croconaw and Tyranitar V. Corviknights and Cloyster. Down to the last five packs here for Leela. Haryama Reverse and Verizian. Rare. Black code. Come on, give us something secrety. We have full art. Settle for full art. Looks like a hollow. We have Mel Metal hollow. Another black code. Ooh, ooh. It looks like a full art. We do have full art. Crabominable V. 
one full art so far in this box. Just two packs remain. Come on, give us an alt art. I believe in you, Mew Pack. Mew Pack has a black code. Come on, Mew Pack. Looks like a V Max. We have Mew V Max. Mew in the Mew Pack was hiding. Mew V Max, regular art, but still a cutie. Still definitely a cutie. One last pack. We have Gengar Arts. Can we find Gengar V Max alts in the Gengar pack? This is our last chance. We'll not spoil the code for us, but need to make sure that I don't accidentally reveal it as well. We do have Blissey. All right, so that's a white code here in the back. Blissey Rare to finish off this box here for Leland. Also, I don't see anything, but just to double check, there's nothing hiding behind here pack-wise. Sometimes I still get flashbacks to that one box of select UEFA Euro Soccer where there's a pack hiding underneath where I'd put that down. So sometimes I like to make an extra effort to check just in case, make sure there's no packs, trying to be sneaky, not trying to get opened. But all right, with that, that does finish off this box. So let's tidy up, then we'll get into our recap. Did end up finding one full art, two V Maxes, lots of regular Vs, and an assortment of hollow rares. So let's start off with our hollows. Did actually have a couple duplicates. Did find two Dragapults, two Toxtricities, number 108, a Grim Snarl, Steelix, and Melmetal for a total of seven hollows. Also had one Crabominable V full art. Two V Max's Chandelure and Mew. And then for regular Pokemon V, we did find a total of six. So for 16, all right, seven and one, two here, and then eight, so eight total. 16 black codes in this box, six of which, oh, actually, that's seven. So we did have actually 17. How did I just miss one? I think maybe the, maybe one was blended in. Anyways. Didn't have 17 total black codes here in this booster box. Breloom V, Crabominable V, Greedence, Cinderace, Rillaboom, Lucario, and Tyranitar. We'll admit, I'm impressed that we were able to get actual seven different regular Pokemon V, seeing as we did manage to get two duplicates out of the seven hollow rares for only five different types. So nice to see at least assortment and variety here in our regular Vs, although I'm sure Leland would have loved some more full arts did actually get a decent amount of black code pulls here in this booster box. I would say my favorites, even though they are regular Vs, would be these two here. Love the Mew. Mew is adorable. And Chandler is just one of my favorite Pokemon, so I like that one a lot. But with that, that does finish off this box here for Leland. So again, thank you so much for letting me open up this box for you. Really hope you enjoyed the opening and love these new additions to your collection. Not sure what you're hunting, but I hope I was able to get you some cards that you're excited about bringing home. And with that, that does do it here for our one Pokemon opening of the day. Like I said, I did check. Unfortunately, we don't have any more. I've, it, I don't want to take the last two from the shop for any more Fusion Strike build and battle kits. There were a couple Chilling Rain ones over there in the shop if you guys wanted me to grab those. Those might not be there, though. That was last week. But hopefully when Brilliant Stars comes out, we'll be able to have a good amount of booster boxes on the website for release weekend. And also whenever the build and battle kits, I feel like those come out, those are the ones used for pre-release weekends or pre-release stores. Then I feel like a couple weeks after regular stores and like you can actually even find them sometimes at like Target and Walmart will get those. So not sure when those are coming in, but excited, very excited to check out those V stars. Not sure if it's completely replacing V Max or if it's just going to be additional to V Max. Just have to look into it a bit more. But excited for Brilliant Stars to come out. I'm just excited for new Arceus cards to continue my Arceus collection. Because I decided PSA 10 whoopers was not enough. I needed to make my life more difficult and try and make a full PSA 10 Arceus collection. So we'll see. We'll see. But excited for that new set to come out. But with that, that does wrap off this video here. So whether you were Leland watching this one or not, I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to go ahead and hit that like button. Comment to me. Drop those down below. And of course, if you're not yet part of the Titan Cards family, we'd love to have you with us. Make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You used to not be able to open up too much Pokemon, but like I said, our numbers have been going up, so that's very glad to see. Hopefully that means big things here for 2022. Year three of the channel, hopefully we'll be able to have more Pokemon. So I'm excited for that. Looking forward to checking out the new releases. Also, before I get on out of this video, do have to give a big shout out to all of our channel members. 
Thank you so much, you all, for going above and beyond with your supports. Bossman and I truly do appreciate it. Do have 13 Black Label fans? And in Bounty Hunter Breaks, Chris Rivers, Devon, Epicenter Gaming, Fails Tales, Kira Sotari, Mark Mardini, Mike Clodis, MT, Sean F., Stephen Olival, and Stephen Bly. Also do have eight Gem Mint fans. Barco Ver, Dusty Archuleta, Jared Geek, Michael C., Michael Bigelow, Scorecard Collectible, Shinef Zen, and William Hastings. Thank you so much again, though, to all of our channel members. And all members do have their name shown on screen at the end of every video. But yes, as I was saying, that does it for me here today on Pokemon. Do have one more personal break coming up next. Do have a booster box of Flesh and Blood Crucible of War Unlimited for Michael H. So checking out some Flesh and Blood up next. Good variety here today. Pokemon, Flesh and Blood, and Star Wars. Great mix for me. I absolutely love all three lines. So I hope you guys have been enjoying today's videos. But that does it for me here in this one. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Take care, stay safe, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye!